when they said castings, I thought, brilliant, they've recognised my potential. Tom Cruise, Brad Pitt, Hollywood, here I come. No, a little bit wrong. In fact, I'm seeing Tim Allen from MJ Allen. We're going to get a lesson at 101 in castings at their foundry. <laughs> So Tim, this is a raw product. Yeah, well this is part of it. We essentially have two raw materials coming into the foundry. We have sand and we have metal. This is a scrap steel that we use in our mix and the other material is pig iron. So we combine the pig iron and steel, steel in, a, in a set recipe to produce the iron that we need. So next stage in the process, you call it moulding, posh sand castles? <laughs> yes, posh sand castles, yeah. So this is the type of sand that we actually use. Yeah. Uh, looks a bit like the sand on a beach, but it's actually a, a graded silica sand. And that sand is mixed in this machine here with a couple of chemicals to make it sticky. So you can see now that sand will hold a shape. That sand is then rammed into the wooden moulds, the wooden patterns that are produced. Uh, to make solid sand pieces. So what we're, what we're actually doing is making a 3D jigsaw puzzle of sand pieces that are then put together to create our mould. Next stage in the process. Yeah, so the next stage of the process is this 3D jigsaw puzzle of sand pieces. So we're assembling the parts that you saw being made earlier into the mould. So we have a bottom half of mould here, the core that's placed inside, so this will give the interior definition of the casting. Just behind you is where the top part of the box is. That will be brought over, dropped over the bottom half, sealed up, and then the metal will be flooded into the cavity to create the casting. Okay, and just to clarify, the metal will be pouring essentially through these grooves. Everywhere you see a gap is yeah. where the metal will flow. So you've got to see positive, negative, positive. So we're making the sand part in a pattern. Uh, that gives us a solid shape, which actually creates the void in the casting. So this core is shaping the interior. And just a quick, I mean this casting here, what will it weigh when it's, when it's finished? This will weigh just about 1.2 tonnes. Uh, it's for the uh, pelletising industry, it's a big gearbox. They put uh, wood dust into it, squeeze it up and pellets come out for fuel generation. So Tim, at the foundry, starting the process, it's took two processes, the sand side of things and where the raw material goes. Now, call me Einstein, I'm assuming it goes in here. That's the furnace, yeah, that's the big fiery furnace. So the, the metal goes into that furnace, that's an oil-fired rotary furnace. Uh, we're atomizing the oil into a spray with a sort of recuperating cycle, so it gets hotter and hotter, and that melts the iron. We gradually... When you say hotter and hotter, sorry, what sort of temperature? Yeah, we're, we're getting up to about 1350, 1400 maybe in the furnace itself. So we're melting the iron down to liquid form so that we can then dispense it into a ladle, take it down the shop and pour it. And when you say a ladle, that's that, the big sort of... Yeah, so it's a big steel bucket with a refractory lining uh, that we fill up with the molten metal and take down the shop on a crane. Okay, and part of that process, you're adding chemicals, oh, is that right? Yeah, it depends on the alloy. Uh, today you'll see us pouring SG iron, so we'll be pouring the molten iron over magnesium. The magnesium reacts with the molten iron, brilliant white, bright light reaction and that changes the constitution of the iron it changes the graphite from flake to nodular and when you make the graphite nodular the iron can bend okay and then after that onto pouring after that onto pouring so tim in the background it's getting a bit hot here what's going on here yeah so in the background we're pouring our iron into the molds in this particular instance it's an sg iron so we've modified the iron by pouring the liquid iron over magnesium that reacts with the iron, it changes the uh, shape of the graphite from flake to nodular. That means the iron is ductile, it, it can bend. And we're taking that molten iron uh, down the uh, shop in ladles and tipping it into the mould. Okay. Quite a big ladle there. It's a big ladle, yeah. That ladle's holding about two tonnes of iron. And what temperature is that as they're pouring? Uh, the iron that we're pouring at around 1350, 1370, something like that, centigrade. Right, so that's in there, in the mould, how long to cool? Uh, we'll leave that for about 24 hours, maybe slightly longer. It's in a sand mould, so it's a great insulator, so it allows the iron to cool down slowly. That avoids things like stresses and hard spots. So we'll let the iron cool down, we'll take it out at around below 200 degrees uh, and uh, knock it out of the sand mould. OK, so knock it out of the sand mould and it's all done, the casting is there? Uh, not quite, sir. After it comes out, uh, we've then got to shot blast it, take off any of the sand that's stuck to the surface. 
then we got to take away the delivery metal of the uh, of the metal into the mould. So the runners and the risers, the sprues, they're all cut off. You grind back uh, those areas, and then it goes to the machine shop. Sounds nice and simple. You've been doing it, what, 50, 60 years? Uh, yes, it's our 60th anniversary this year. The, found this the foundry was uh, formed in 1958, so it's our 60th year. Brilliant. Tim, Casting 101, fantastic journey. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. Glad to see you.